Aquarius, welcome. This is your general reading for the collective of Aquarius, not date or time specific. We're well past or, or enough past the energy of the new moon solar eclipse. <clears throat> so I feel like this reading is just a good old general collective reading. Whenever you come upon it, if it speaks to you, if it resonates, then it's your reading at that time. Um, also, uh, I did want to mention that I do have individual Zodiac playlists available now. So I cleared out all the other mishmash that was um, showing up in the playlists and just boiled it all down to individual Zodiac. So all the readings for Aquarius can be found in the Aquarius playlist. A little banner will pop up right about now to show you where, <laughs> where to go. Okay, uh, if you're new to the channel, welcome. I hope if you enjoy the reading, you will consider joining us by subscribing. And for those who have returned and been following and subscribed for a while, please double check your subscription. Um, a lovely commenter, a lovely subscriber let me know the other day that she discovered that um, her watch history had been scrubbed. Um, that's a Google thing, not really a YouTube thing and that um, it wipes out the subs you know all her subscriptions. So she did resubscribe and she said, let people know. So I'm letting you know because it does happen. I never quite understood what it was that was causing people's subscriptions to just disappear. I thought maybe it was updating the platform and that could be part of it, but starting with clearing the cache, right? To get all the, the built up um, energy stores, uh, memory and space um, on the platform. So it makes sense to me, check it out. All right, pulling one card for you Aquarius from Spirit Animal Oracle. Just let's get a nice light energy going here for you. Something to think about and contemplate. <laughs> Perfect, what was I just saying? Card 28, oh, maybe I imprinted this. Frog Spirit, clear out the clutter. <laughs> <laughs> clear your cash here um, Aquarius I just was saying that word clear out the clutter and that's what I was thinking of for YouTube and all the um, you know watch history taking up so much space anywho clear out the clutter Aquarius this is the perfect time to do it anyway so you know we've got some planets in retrograde Pluto Saturn Mercury Jupiter is going to join the fun on the 20th so um you know, take the downtime to sort of Marie Kondo <laughs> your life. Uh, only keep what inspires joy. Okay, let's see what's going on in your connection, you beautiful souls. My dear Aquarians. And there you are. Aquarius and Capricorn. This card is about Saturn, though, which was your original ruler before Uranus was discovered. It is the as above, so below, completion of cycles, the learning of lessons, and a new beginning. Feeling the freedom, the nirvana that comes with um, having pushed through a challenging cycle perhaps, or closing things out, maybe finding closure. Beautiful energy. Um, I love that for you. Now we're, this top row here is your divine counterpart. This second row is you, of course. We have the Empress shows up and King of Cups and the Knight of Swords. So what I'm looking at here is past, present energies and future. Mm. I just ate a little um, power uh, protein bar. And I didn't get it all. Okay, so let me just walk you through what's coming through. In the past for your divine counterpart, remember it can be reversed for you, especially if you're here as a cross watcher. Your divine counterpart, Ace of Swords, some big epiphany came in, um, very likely to do with your unconditional love, some clarity for them. And here you are just sort of staying very calm, very nurturing. Um, even if it's energetically at 5D, this unconditional love is what this card is really all about. Yes, the um, Empress births all things and can be a card of creation, but in this case, it's coming through more as they finally see, they had that aha moment that 
your love is not going away. It's there. It's just part of who you are at your core. And I love that this world card is the anchor for the whole reading. So remember that. Their present energy, um, seven of wands. There could be something that they're trying to overcome here. Um, and they may go kicking and screaming. You here, though, still in the energy of love, king of cups. I, I am going to say this is probably your energy. Could be your divine counterpart. We'll see when I clarify. But I love that it's a king because the kings all have extra swords. So I love that in this case, it's not the queen because with the empress and the queen together, it could be a lot of emotional neediness, etc. So I like that there's some analytical aspect to this king of cups, right? Leading from the heart, but very clear of mind. Got it? I really love that. Um, you're feeling very stable here, I gotta say. The um, Page of Swords in the future, I feel this person will continue to sort of check in with you, um, if not directly, maybe indirectly through sort of seeing you on social media or maybe, um, you know, just getting, asking questions about you, inquiring about you if you have friends in common or, you know, especially if you're not in communication with this person. And you here, Knight of Swords, I love the double swords energy because it suggests that things are going to get um, very, there could be some communication coming in is what I'm feeling. Like there's a setup here, page and knight. Um, you're a little bit ahead of them is what I'm feeling. And <clears throat> there is a sense of urgency with the Knight of Swords. Can be to clear something up. It could be, we'll see when I clarify. But otherwise, it just feels like you're both kind of coming through a really rational, leaving a lot of the emotional stuff behind and approaching some potential for communication. The kind that clears air, the kind that um, doesn't come from anger. This can be angry energy. This, in, in this case, I'm not seeing it that way. There's too much love here, um, but very determined. There's a lot of attention here on the realm of thought, perception, and communication going forward. The world, please. Nine of Pentacles. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> You're doing so good here. All right. So the world, the nine of pentacles and the six of swords. There's definitely some peace of mind coming back online for you. You've cleared out this cycle. You're now on your own. The nine of pentacles is an independent person, very empowered, very self-sufficient in all aspects of life, feeling really grounded and together. There's just a together. And then the Six of Swords is, you know, sort of moving away from the turbulence and moving toward something more calm and peaceful and serene. But underneath, there's still something that's kind of stuck in your craw here, Aquarius. The Eight of Swords is some trapped, stuck, overthinking energy. It's below, so when I pull from the bottom of the deck, it's usually what's rumbling around in your psyche. It's not really in your conscious awareness. So it just may be that there's something here um, that you don't feel as free as the world card would suggest. You may be... Um, in a prison of your own making in the realm of thought and perception, not really knowing your next best step forward. But for now, it seems like overall, you're kind of moving forward um, with grace and ease, but something is just stuck in there. We'll figure it out. Could be the other person, Ace of Swords. You know what I mean? Like you may not be able to escape your thoughts of them. Of course, they're very clear here. Um, divine masculine energy coming in. They're sort of seeing things clearly, but they have a lot to learn. This is the past and what's underneath. Oh, gosh. Yeah. Before they can make an offer of love here, the Knight of Cups 
or even just share from their heart. Like that offer of love doesn't have to always be romance. It can just be, you know, wearing their heart on their sleeve and coming clean on an emotional level, really speaking and acting from their heart. And before they can do that, I feel like they're, they're clear now about the dynamic. They're clear that they need to take some form of action. And yet with the Page of Pentacles, it's so tentative. There's something that this person has yet to learn. And so they're kind of um, operating on beginner's mind. And before they can move toward love, offer love, or come from their heart, they really got to get a handle on that. And then we have the Seven of Wands. There's something here that they need to overcome. A struggle, a challenge. Um, well, I feel like there's something here that's um, out of balance. Uh, we've got two balance cards, the justice with the six of pentacles underneath. I don't feel they were ready for an equal give and take, and so they're still resisting coming toward you because of that. So I am feeling more resistance in this card and less empowered energy. Um, it has to do with communication. They're resisting communicating with you on some level. The justice card, I feel like they're still integrating everything they're learning and in, in this present moment. Um, while they want some balance, that's part of what they want to communicate about. They're resisting the communication altogether. And I feel this is why, because it's underneath. They're not ready for um, on some level, they they cannot yet, cannot yet is the key word, offer something reciprocal. It's just not in the in the cards at this moment. Page of Swords, though, going forward, they got their eyes on you. Page of Swords can be the detective, the spy of the tarot, needing more information, checking up on you. I'm not feeling any stalker energy yet. Aww. Five of Pentacles, Magician. Well, it's interesting. I feel as if, um, hmm. I feel that in the future, they're going to be looking to see if you're still in this energy of abandonment, if you're still longing for them, if you're still um, pining away in this energy of instability. And here they're going to see you're not. You're not. They're gonna. They're gonna see it. They're gonna see it, and then they're gonna want to manifest a reconciliation. So this is someone who's gonna kind of scope it out before they make their move to see is this person still licking their wounds from when I walked away, when I ghosted, when you know whatever happened between the two of you. Um, it it resulted in some very unstable energy, um, maybe feeling devalued on some level. Either way, uh, it could be reversed for some of you, but I feel like once they get a handle that you're moving on and you're doing pretty well for yourself and you're in good spirits and you're still coming from love, they're going to want a piece of that. They're going to be encouraged to manifest this reconciliation. They may not know it because it's underneath, but that six of wands is victory. They're going to want to say, oh my gosh, I, you know, I feel like the timing is right here for me to approach this person. Um, they're in a better frame of mind. They're more stable now. And I can now manifest this opportunity to come together, make peace and, um, you know, potentially reconcile. Sometimes it's just reconciling differences. Other times it's a total reconciliation. It depends on your particular situation. For you, dear Aquarius, I love that we have the Empress and the King of Cups for you, past and present. You've really been working on um, your heart chakra. I definitely feel love coming through here. No question about it. And, um, you know, and it's not easy to do that when you have been hurt when you have been hurt, when you have been forsaken. But I feel like you're managing it pretty well, better than most. Although I'm sure it has taken time. Nine, nine of Pentacles. See? Um, yeah, the love of the Empress overcomes the devil. 
Capricorn energy there and the Seven of Swords. There was some uh, betrayal or, you know, deception here. Underneath, there's more overcoming energy. Overcoming it. See, the only card in the deck that truthfully beats down the devil energy is the um, strength card. So I love that that comes out for you. And it's underneath though, so you may not realize how strong you are and how far you've come in terms of dealing with and overcoming um, the energy that was toxic. Uh, I'm looking at this and it doesn't feel, I'm not feeling, I'm feeling um, manipulation, control, and deception. Someone wasn't on the level with you. Um, I think they see clearly now that that did not, it did not go well. That's why they're going to be checking up on that five of pentacles. Because when they didn't get what they wanted, they split. That's what I see here. And here you are, Empress, with that unconditional love and the beautiful, powerful, overcoming energy of the, um, the strength card. So we've got three major arcana here. This was a major life shift for you in the way that you dealt with that energy, which probably took a long time. When we're looking at the world, you know, Saturn is a slow moving planet. And I kind of feel like that's the result of the lessons learned is you overcame that energy, but you maintained your loving stance. Wow. Not surprised, Aquarius. King of Cups. And the Sun. Oh my gosh. And Temperance. And the Death card. This three major arcana. Again, that's your lucky number today. Three. You got two, two sets of three major arcana in a row. Um, yeah, I feel as if you're very much focused on your happiness here. You could be ready for new love or someone that is ready to give you love. But I still kind of feel the King of Cups is you. And the sun, uh, we have Leo energy coming through here twice. You could be dealing with a Leo, just wanted to say that. But I feel as if happy days are here again. You're feeling energetically um, alive. And you're totally in this sense of moderation is everything. I'm not going to go too far on one end or too far on the other. I've struck this perfect balance. I get the wisdom of the patience for how things come into flow. Temperance is also a timing reference a little bit. Sagittarian energy and then the scorpionic energy of the death card underneath. This has been a major phase of transformation. Getting from here to here has been a big shift. A major transformation for you. I feel like what died off here was, you know, your inability to wrestle with the devil and the seven of swords, but you overcame it. And now you're in this energy of a lot of optimism, positivity, happiness, and content with moving on on your own. I, I'm not seeing any panic energy coming in. I don't see any neediness really showing up. I kind of feel you're resigned to the situation while you maintain love for this person. Don't get me wrong. I feel like it clicked that timing's off. I got to take care of me. I've got to figure out a way to be happy, even, even in the absence of their energy. Um, I have to become a better person for myself. Mm -hmm. And then in the future, the Knight of Swords, you may actually have an opportunity to share everything I just said, the Knight of Swords. There is um, healthier communication is what I'm seeing. Oh, nine of, nine of swords with the tower and the ace. Okay, so I almost feel as if the conversation, the communication that, that may come, of it, you know, may come online between the two of you is about the tower moment. I don't think your uh, tower moment is coming. I think it already happened. Um, there could be some anxiety of whatever you have to say creating another tower moment, but I don't predict a tower moment. I feel it's just... Um, Part of your anxiety, part of what will be running on a loop is, oh my gosh, if I speak truth to power, am I going to blow this whole thing up? 
So I do see a little worry, even though the Knight of Swords is coming from high vibration, intention, honor, integrity, truth, and feeling a sense of urgency to speak the truth to power, you will rightly, rightfully be um, a little concerned that it may blow the whole shebang up permanently. But underneath, you're still gonna feel that divine inspired passion to proceed. So I don't think your anxiety will hold you back. I feel that the, the words you have to speak and the clarity you have to bring to the situation, the truth you have to bring to the situation is more important to you. Will be You'll be operating from that um, passionate, divine inspired, passionate energy of the Ace of Wands is more important than the fear of the whole thing blowing up. Got it? I don't see it blowing up. I think um, this person will be very open and ready for reconciliation, regardless of what you have to say. I feel they're more concerned about that five of pentacles. So Aquarius, what I'm trying to tell you is, if what you're gonna say is about the five of pentacles, be super crystal clear with your words, leave the emotions to the side, make sure it's easy to understand that it doesn't come off as an attack, right? Sometimes a knight of swords, things slip off the tongue. So that's all I'm saying. And if you can get through that part, I don't see any tower falling, got it? Okay, if this is speaking to you, um, I'm gonna take it to the extended links below. We'll look at what you can focus on now until you know this turn of events, the blocks or challenges to love and what you can do about those blocks or challenges or what you you know can expect to come of it and i'll pull from spirit of the universe um some advice for you the energy that's surrounding you and things that you know are out of your awareness and but that you need to know and then your potential outcome going forward i'll also pull more oracle and messages to and from each other so it's a lovely full extended i hope to see you there otherwise have a great day and i'll see you in a future reading bye aqua